This speech is a lot like a Bill Clinton promise. It won't last long, and it'll sound like a Republican talking. The words of Congresswoman Susan Molinari summing up the tone of tonight. Americans know that Bill Clinton's promises have the lifespan of a Big Mac on Air Force One. Molinari's theme, simple, dole is better. The Dole Kemp plan will give every man and woman in this country a 15% across the board tax cut. Each speech was aimed at a common target. In the war on poverty, the Clinton administration has dodged the draft. The bullseye was Bill. Don't you think it's time to elect a president who will keep Bill Clinton's promises? And that man is Bob Dole. Mr. Clinton, we do feel the pain because you're causing it. The rhetoric was more consistent than inspirational. Four years ago, President Clinton filled Americans with empty words whose meanings changed with the political winds. With Bob Dole, character counts. His word is his bond. Have you forgotten that Bill Clinton promised a middle-class tax cut, then passed the largest tax increase in American history? Molinari was met by silent, white-hatted pro-life supporters opposing her pro-choice stance. They were peaceful. Molinari stayed on message. There's a feeling of, of hopelessness that's starting to creep through, and I had 10 minutes to get up there to talk about what we can do to restore that hope, and that's like Bob Dole and Jack Cowan. If there was emotion here tonight, it was from House Speaker Newt Gingrich. We are the party of freedom because we believe that with Bob Dole and Jack Kemp and freedom, we can restore the American dream, and that is what we are dedicated to. The night was choreographed to hammer home one theme. Balance the budget in 10 years. It will take a Republican president to balance our budget. So listen with us tonight.